Did you know why cats are scared of cucumbers? Let knowledge cling! Like some other animals that gather in groups, like coyotes. Cats are known for their independent nature and usually travel alone. Because of this nature, cats always have to stay alert to their surroundings. Even a small change can trigger their fire or fly response. But what do cucumbers have to do with this? Scientists still don't have an answer yet, but there are a few theories. Thousands of years ago, cats and sister grew wary of snake-like shapes. This doesn't just happen with cucumbers. Sneaking anything near a cat when it's not expected can startle them. Teasing a cat too much can make it stress, panic, or even lose trust in you. I'm sorry. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. Wufu, your cat doesn't like water. Oh. Do you know why most cats are afraid of water? Let knowledge click! Ancient cats lived in a dry places with little water, and they learned to hunt without needing to swim. Just like their ancestor, cats today aren't used to being in water. A cat's fur is super soft and light. When it gets wet, the fur becomes heavy and sticky, making it harder for them to move around. When their paws aren't touching the ground, cats lose control of their movements, which make them scared. When they're bathed, the cat's natural scent disappears. They immediately start licking themselves to restore that familiar smell. So how can I keep my cat clean? <laughs> Brush their fur to remove loose hair and dirt. Gently wipe their fur with a soft towel so your kitty won't get scared. Clean the little box every day. If your cat is really dirty, ask an adult to help give it a bath. This is a Stegosaurus. Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a Diplodocus. And do you know what it is? Huh? Hmm. We don't know. Why have we never seen one? Dinosaurs oh. went extinct 66 million years ago. Do you want to know what happened to them? <laughs> Let knowledge play! Long ago, dinosaurs lived all over the Earth. Some were big. Some were small. They walked around, hunted, or ate plants in the world full of trees, volcanoes, and big oceans. But then, something terrible happened. A giant asteroid from space crashed into the Earth. A big rock from space hit the Earth and made lots of dust that covered the sky. It caused earthquakes giant waves, and volcanoes to erupt. Everything changed suddenly. With the sun blocked, plants couldn't grow. Without plants, the plant-eating dinosaur had no food. 
And then, the meat-eating dinosaurs didn't have food either, so they disappeared too. But not all of them disappeared. Scientists believe some small dinosaurs that survive change over time and become the birds you see today. So, birds are actually relatives of dinosaurs? You can say that. <laughs> Do you know why bats sleep this way? Let knowledge click! Why most animals go to sleep at night? Bats come out to find food. And during the day, they sleep instead. Bats usually sleep in groups, huddle together in dark, quiet spots. But why do they have to sleep upside down like that, Professor Hoot? It's because their back legs are quite weak, so they can't land on their feet like birds do. Also, bats can launch into the air from the ground, so sleeping this way lets them fly away instantly. This comes out handy in case of danger. Hanging up high also keeps them safe from other animals. And since they don't need to share purchase with birds or other animals, they always have a spot to rest. But how can bats hang on so tightly without falling? Their muscles are designed so that the more oh. they relax, the tighter their claws hold on. <laughs> What are we going to do with it now? If a bath is in your house, don't touch it. Just open a window and let it fly out safely. I got it! Kids? Do you know why giraffes have such long neck? Let knowledge click! Mm. First, we need to know where giraffes wow. live. Oh. Wow. Giraffes live in a grassland and open woodlands of Africa, where there are lots of tall trees like acacia trees. A famous theory says that giraffes long ago didn't have long necks like they do today. Animals that were shorter could only eat low leaves, so they had to compete for food. Mm. Giraffes had to stretch their necks to reach higher leaves. Over many generations, their necks slowly got longer until they became the giraffes we see today. The giraffe's long neck is also linked to a fun behavior called necking. Necking is when the male giraffes use their long necks to strike each other to assert their dominance. They swing their necks at each other until one gives up. So having a longer, thicker neck means a better chance of winning. Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.